Our adult female Nile crocodile Cleopatra surprised us the other day when she began digging a nest in the corner of her enclosure. Don't get here yet until I get up there. Cleopatra either laid her eggs either late Wednesday night or early Thursday morning. It's gonna be way too hot for them to incubate here in the sand. Okay, she's backing up this way. Our president Russ leads two of our crocodile keepers in walling in Cleopatra with boards as Casey and Dan dig the eggs out of the nest. And there you go. Okay, move your shield in, move your shield in. As they work, a group of campers come to watch the process firsthand. Now the reason we have to take these out, kids, it's too hot here. And what will eventually happen, the sand will get so hot it'll actually kill the eggs and they won't be able to hatch. Where they're from, it hardly ever gets over 90, and it's a lot more humid. So if we don't do this, we won't get any hatching. So we have to dig through the sand uh, very gently until we find out where the actual deposit of the eggs have been made in, into the ground. Um, what's key with reptile eggs is that they cannot be rotated. What will happen is the egg has a little air pocket, and the embryo attaches up near that, sp that pocket. And if you were to rotate it, then they say that the baby or the embryo can drown. Uh, crocodile yeah. eggs. <laughs> She's pretty routine. And you see this white banding? Can you get that in the camera, that band right there? Yeah. That means that's a fertilized egg and it's actually starting to develop. So they've been in the ground for a couple days with our warmer temperatures. Um, actually, the eggs are already uh, in the process of incubating. You see another band right here? And that's what we look for. They're all banded right now so far that I've found. All right. A band of white. Okay. You and I will just give That's a yeah. good and indication. That's a good fertile egg right there. With this. Just kind of bury it back up. She can. So we just got uh, done uh, excavating the eggs from our Nile crocodile. She became very defensive in one of the corners of her enclosure. Uh, in years prior, we kind of know where she likes to nest and do her thing. But when her attitude goes from being nasty to over the top nasty, uh, we know that something's going on and that is that she's protecting eggs. Um, you gotta remember crocodiles are one of the most maternal animals in the world and they will guard their nest and their young with their life against all comers. In Africa, where she might uh, put this nest normally, she would have to defend it possibly against an elephant in the area. And she would have no fear of an elephant, which is much larger than herself. And we are basically gonna artificially incubate these eggs. Stay tuned for more updates as we incubate these crocodile eggs.